Viviani here for Assetor Auctioneers and the Great Texas Mopar Hoard Auction Event with item number 21, a 1961 Plymouth Savoy four-door station wagon. Now, back in 1970 or so, these things were all over the country in parking lots from coast to coast. Well, now in 2021, you don't find them anymore, especially not like this. This one's an original paint car. Might have been resprayed, but it's the original color, but the grill is in fantastic condition. The bumper's beautiful, the headlight surrounds, and the trim here are pretty decent. You can hammer these out if you choose to, or just let it be as a survivor. And this item right here, that is so hard to find. I had a 61 Plymouth Savoy four-door. Couldn't find one of these anywhere, and it's present. I love how the gold anodized is still there on the medallion. Underneath the hood, we find... Oh, look at that. Okay, a Slant 6. This is the 225 Slant 6 in its second year of production in full-sized cars. The motor mounts are here. Uh, it's a three-speed manual car. More on that in a moment. Manual steering, manual drum brakes everywhere, one-barrel carburetor, and a heater. I do see also on the firewall an orange box, Mopar Performance, which means this car has been given an electronic distributor conversion. So no more points. That's okay. There's the orange box. Let's go around to the driver's side front door. And on our way, let's break out the magnet. Now these cars are, again, notorious for rust, but there's none, none. The magnet wants to stick on pretty much every surface. That's fantastic. Down low here, these things always turn to paper. Not here. Fantastic. Okay, oh, the stickers here. This uh, 12 of 1966, an inspection sticker, and more recently, 9 of 2006, last time the car was registered, apparently. Uh, let's look inside. And yeah, the door is uh, very, very nice. The interior paneling is still present. Three-speed manual, shifter on the column. This is a very utilitarian Slant 6 three-speed manual family car. I do see lap belts, which were an option, factory option. Here's uh, the, uh, the male side of it here. The dashboard's looking good. It does have an aftermarket uh, AM, FM cassette stereo. This probably was a rated elite car when new. Uh, let's see if we can pop the rear door. Okay, there it is. And again, just rust free. Everything's quite nice. A little bit of a bubble right there, not a big deal. The magnet does stick, so there's no putty here. It's honest first generation rust, as they say. Uh, all of the uh, back seat area and the cargo floor present and accounted for. Rear quarter panel and bodywork all quite nice. You can see down low here. A little bit of bubbling right there, but this is very solid. Let's find out what's going on here. The magnet sticks. So again, first generation rust. These bubbles within five or six years will come out, but in the meantime, very, very solid. Uh, the rear taillights are here. The lamp here, the lens is not present, but those are readily available from reproduction. The rear bumper with the step is present. I do see a little bit of flaking paint here. It's possible there's some rust repair happening. Yeah, a little, little bit. The magnet sticks hard here, and it's not so much there. So this area here might have a dent or something hiding underneath. But otherwise, um, it's very solid. I don't see any, any trouble or signs of, of uh, Bondo in this uh, tailgate. Moving around to the passenger side quarter panel. Okay, a little bit of bubbling. Yeah, this stuff right here. Again, first generation rust. The magnet wants to stick to it, so it's not putty. This is, you know, first time rust bloom. Another year or two or three, yeah, that'll, that'll pop through. But again, there are patch panels available for these cars to repair that. Uh, the wheel lip is in fantastic condition. I love the 14 inch steel wheels match the body with the poverty caps. That's standard Savoy stuff. And again, Savoy was the base model in the full size lineup. A quarter panel's down low, very, very nice. The doors always rust in through here. Not this one, wonderful. And again, the rocker panel, super duper solid, like it. Up inside, take another look inside, and there it is. And keep in mind, folks, at any point during these videos, you can freeze the frame to see a detail and zoom in and really get the full picture of the car. Uh, this does have carpeting laid down on the floor, and I think that's over the factory rubber floor mat, which is underneath uh, the carpeting. Again, the Savoy being a low-line car would not have had carpeting from the factory. It would have had a rubber floor mat. And again, less can be more, and that's the case with the Savoy. Down low here at the bottom of the fender. Okay, a little bit of rust right there. 
very solid except for this localized spot. And again, the magnet sticks. So this is not uh, Bondo or Putty. That's first gen rust and easily dealt with. The wheel lip is beautiful all the way up and all the way down. And that is the story of item number 21, a 61 Plymouth Savoy two-door wagon. Very original, you just don't find them anymore. Bid accordingly.